Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. To speed up the process, I've already moisturized and primed my skin. And for foundation today, I'll be using the Armani Power Fabric Foundation in the shade 4.5. I'm still kind of testing this foundation, but so far it's been good to me. To blend all that in, I've been really enjoying this E6 brush by Morphe. It's extremely soft and the flat top helps distribute everything evenly. After that, I'm going to add on my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation just on the areas where I just want a little more coverage. For my under eyes today, I'll be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Chantilly using my Morphe E46 brush. I'm also going to use what's left on the brush to blend my T-zone. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Perfect Setting Powder by Cover FX and I'm going to bake underneath the eyes, then use what's left to set the rest of my face. I'm going to skip the part where I do my eyebrows since I really don't do much, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows. To prime my eyes, I'll be using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and move on to my eyeshadows. For my eyeshadows today, I'll be using the new Morphe 35R palette and girl, this palette is going to be my new best friend till death do us apart. <laughs> I'm going to use that soft orange brown as my transition shade and I'm pretty much going to apply that all around the crease area. Since I want this look to be pretty damn smoky, I'm going to bring it up higher than where I usually place it. After that, I'm going to use the reddish brown shade and create a sideway V shape using a slightly smaller brush than what we used earlier. Here, I'm using the Morphe Y18 brush. Then I'm going to blend that out with the transition shade brush we used. Then I'm going to use that light banana shade to clean that up using a flatter fluffy brush. Once that's done, I'm using that shimmery copper orange shade and I'm going to spray it with the rose water or anything that's safe to use on your face to apply it wet. This will give you a much more intense metallic effect compared to a reflective glittery look when applied dry. Once you're satisfied with the intensity, I'm going to apply a hint of that champagne color on the center part of the lid and that's going to give me that perfect amount of reflection that I want. Once the top part of my eyes are done, I'm going to dust off the powder underneath and move on to the lower lash line. I wanted to go for a slightly grungy but still messy look so I'm going to use that deeper reddish brown shade and blend it on my lower lash line using a smaller but dense shader brush. I'm going to bring that all the way in and then blend it out using the same brush we used for the transition. This part's optional but you can take a darker shade and make it deeper to your liking. Once you're satisfied, I'm going to grab my Smooth Ride Supercharge Eyeliner in Gold by Arden Cien and apply that on my waterline. This is going to give me that hint of shimmer I need to tie in the whole look together. For lashes, I'm applying one of my favorites, which is the Claire Lashes from Sadur Essentials. I love the dramatic length with the perfect amount of wispy that this gives me. For bronzer, I'm using an oldie but a goodie, which is the Refined Golden Bronzer by MAC. I'm going to contour my face using an angled brush, then move on to blush. For blush today, I'm using the Makeup Revolution blush in Nude, and I'm applying that just above where I applied the bronzer. After that, I'm going to contour my nose really quick using the Java Contour Shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills and move on to the highlight of the show, which is my highlight. <laughs> Today, I'm going to use the Spotlight Palette in Pearl by Smashbox and I'm going to mix these two shades today and apply that on the highest points of my face. To finish off the look, I'm going to apply the Black is Red Lipstick by Arden Cien. With this shade in particular, I'd recommend that you use a lip liner because the lipstick was a bit patchy and started bleeding after some time and I had to clean it up with a straight flat brush. Once you're done with your lips, go ahead and apply your favorite mascara on your lower lash line and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!